Hi guys, welcome to uh, our continued iOS uh, example um, that involves using JSON and basically loading data from an external database. So this is part four or the fourth video in the series. Uh, I apologize it's been so long, but hopefully we can wrap things up within this particular tutorial itself. Right, so we've created our uh, retrieve data method and we I want to do a couple things before we try and run this code. So one of the things I would like to do is in our view to load method, let's just go ahead and set the title of this view. So we're just going to say self.title and I'm just going to set that. That takes an NS string object and I'm just going to set that to um, cities of the world. Command S to save that and let's see what else can we do here before we try and run things um, we can I'm gonna do one more thing I'm gonna set up a in this view did load method I'm gonna also go ahead call our self retrieve data method for this particular class that way that particular method gets called We'll also jump down real quick and modify some of the information that is within our table view data source method. So here we've got number of sections in table view that is in fact one. We want to then set the number of the rows in, that are in the section and I'm going to set that to, um, uh, let's see here, cities array dot count, command S. And then we will also want to change the code that is within our cell for row at index path method. So it's currently just setting the cell.textlabel.text property to um, just a random value which is cell and then it's the index path dot row variable value. So we'll comment this out and what I'll do instead is come down here and we will create first of all so let's just retrieve the current city object for use with this index path dot row. So what we'll do here is we'll say city current city and we are going to use the cities array and we're going to say object at index. We'll pass the value in as i uh, because that is the value of our oh I'm sorry it's not it's uh, index path dot row is really what we want and from there we can um, do things like cell dot text label dot text and we can set the property of that um, cell dot text label dot text value to simply saying current city dot city name so let's try that um, we've got a couple changes that we've made command us to save command R to run and let's see what we actually get now So building, 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 compiling, and hopefully this compiles and builds real quick. So the simulator finally came up and you can see that we've got our, uh, our different cities that are now within our table view. We've actually set the, uh, uh, the, the title of our view as well. So let's go ahead and now stop this particular simulator or stop the app and continue our work. I want to do a couple more things. I'm going to add a detailed disclosure indicator and maybe we'll add some subtitle text here uh, just to fancy things up just a wee bit. So let's go ahead and do just that. So we're going to hit stop and um, what we're going to do is next is add like I said subtitle text and also uh, some information in relation to uh, sort of a dis detailed disclosure indicator. All right, so we want to jump down to our table view self road index path dot property, and what we're going to do is a couple things. One is we have to change the style of our cell from UI table view cell style default to cell style subtitle, and then we can come down here and say something like cell dot sub not text the cell. What what is this set to cell dot um, I always forget the property, but it is cell dot detail text label 
dot text and we're going to set this to current city and let's just go ahead and set that to maybe the name of the country where the city is. so we'll say dot city country command us to save that and that is all cell set we also want to um, set a detailed disclosure indicator this is a uh, something that comes out of the Apple human interface guidelines I mean you've got an action where tapping a row loads other data so we want to maybe use one of those so we'll just say cell dot accessory type is UI table view cell detail disclosure indicator so let's see if you can find that table view cell accessory that's the one we want okay very good now if we were to uh, run our application again uh, you'll see that this time um, the we have the country information as well uh, that shows up right underneath the name of the city we've got our detailed disclosure indicator of course selecting or tapping these rows does absolutely nothing and this is what we are going to implement as part of our last portion okay so what we'll do real quick is we need to add a new file and I'm going to create a new Objective-C class this time though I do want it to be a subclass of UI view controller and this is going to be called let's name it detail view controller we do want the nip file for user interface this time so we're just going to do with nip for user interface I'm gonna hit next and it's going to create for me this new class which is a subclass of UI view controller and we'll get the files here uh, in just one second okay so it's going to load up the uh, the nip file which is just fine uh, what I want to do here is a couple different things so I want essentially labels so I'm just gonna say a label and I'm going to drag three labels I'm gonna set it to be left aligned and I'm gonna drag three labels here two three and maybe we want to give it uh, you know a, a little bit of a type name as well so we'll just say name set this one to population and we'll set this one to country okay so let's just scooch that down just some so we can add another text label that we will actually modify programmatically and then I'm gonna drag another label object right here and make sure it's lined up looks fairly lined up okay so we're just gonna replicate that I'm just gonna hold down the option key and drag a couple more copies so we can get that set up as well so here we go then I'm just going to extend this out so it'll actually fit. Same thing with this one. Same thing with this one as well. Okay, with that done, we do want to make these outlets. Otherwise, we won't really be able to uh, adjust anything. So we'll bring up the assistant editor, and I'm going to right-click and drag a connection here. I'm going to call this one city name. Connect that, and do one for our label I'm going to call this one city population hit connect there and connect another one and call this one city country and do a connect there okay with all of that done let's jump back to our header file uh, and we can see that we've got um, a couple of these properties already laid out so we are good to go there and what we'll also want to do while we've got these um, IB outlets in place is let's also go ahead and create a couple properties. So we're going to say at property non-atomic strong. These are all going to be in a strings. And we're going to call the first one name. And I'm just going to do a quick copy paste and just change those values. So the second one's going to be population and third one's going to be country all right so with that done let's jump into the implementation file I'm going to do an add synthesize and make sure I've got everything synthesized so let's just synthesize this where you had name 
population country we also want to do an add synthesize for city name city population and city country so we are set up there uh, then in the view to load method I'm gonna set the self dot title property to be the same as name right and also within this area we can then set um, all our labels so we'll just set our labels as well so we are going to say something like city name is assigned the value of name city population is assigned the value of population and city country is oh I know what the problem is here we're getting warnings city name dot text is assigned the value of name city name dot population is assigned the value of and city dot country this text property is set to we want to set this just to country all right so that's all set so we are ready to go from our detailed view controller standpoint but we're gonna to have to jump back into our view controller and do a couple more things so here we've got our uh, delegate method called did select row to index path this is what fires when the user taps a particular row uh, but be, to be able to really um, show the detail we have to be able to push it onto the stack and we can do that very easily but we would have to first import our uh, detail view controller so I'm just gonna do it in the header file because we've done the other one there as well I'm just gonna do a pound import detail view controller dot H command s this is now gonna allow us to instantiate the detail detail view controller uh, object so we'll come back here we are and I'm just gonna pop this down real quick and here's what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say detail view controller DVC is assign the value of detail view controller alloc and in it so we'll just use the standard in it then I'm gonna start setting the detail view controllers property so I'm gonna say DVC dot uh, name is assigned the value of uh, what's our array here what do we call our uh, I think we call it our cities array so we we can go ahead and use that cities array so we'll just set that DVC dot name to be um, I guess before we do that we'll need to also do retrieve the current selected city and so we can do that by saying city current city is cities array and it's just going to be the object at index index path dot row and now we can go through and say dvc dot name is assigned the value of current city dot city name we can also say dvc dot uh, population is assigned the value of current city dot city population and DVC dot country is assigned the value of current city dot city country command s to save last but not least what we have to do is we have to push our uh, detail view controller onto our navigation stack so we just say self dot navigation controller push view controller and it's going to ask us for two parameters UI view controller which is DVC in our case and whether we want to animate that we do so it's just going to hit yes command s to save and that's you'll notice that there are no errors and issues let's go ahead and run our application and we should have if we've done everything correctly the app in the desired format so give it a couple seconds to finish up compiling our application and here it comes okay so we've got our view controller has a nice custom title it's got uh, all the different cities coming out of our database and now when I tap a particular row I get a detailed view controller the name of the city again the name of the city its population and 
the country that it's uh, in. So there you go. We've got a new application that is um, essentially being loaded from a, a database on the web. So that is fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off this or uh, stop the application from running. And I'm going to bring back my MySQL Workbench. And I am going to go ahead and insert a new uh, city. I'm just going to insert Dusseldorf. Um, it's in the state of Nordrhein-Westfalen in Deutschland. And um, so we're just going to hit run and that's going to do the insert. And let's run our application again. And this time when we run our application, notice that Dusseldorf now sh shows up. So as you can see, we are getting live data as and when it's added to our uh, database on the web. So thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. I realize this is a long tutorial and I will be um, uh, happy to see any examples that anybody comes up with uh, in terms of using this code in their personal applications. Again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.